Feels good. Okay, let's get to our show. I did not mention what this person does for a living. Uh, I believe he is a technician from the southeastern part of the United States. Please welcome to the show J.W. Stillwater. Is y'all safe? Is y'all safe? I need to know if y'all safe. Hey, shout out to the balcony. That wasn't a shout out, was it, JW? I shout out the balcony. No. What's wrong with that? <laughs> they don't deserve that. What kind of a low down? <laughs> oh. hey, 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 back up. Back up, back up. You saying these people at the higher altitude don't deserve a shout out? <laughs> you think it's funnier up there? Is it? <laughs> hey, maybe you were right. If they're scary. <laughs> All right. Hmm. J.W. Stillwater, so great to see you. Yeah. Great to see you. <laughs> what's, what's going on with you, man? I'm going through a second puberty. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> My pubes are getting extra long. Already with your filth. <laughs> That's right, I forget, you are a uh, Christian man, are you not, J.W. I'm, I'm a God-fearing man. I don't necessarily go to church, or pray, or think about God that much. But I am terrified of him. <laughs> is your, uh, for those of you who don't know, J.W. Stillwater is a uh, masked vigilante. You're wearing your mask right now. I am a... A costumed vigilante crime fighter. The police is corrupt. No one knows that more than Chicago. A C C A B. All Chicago cops are bastards. <laughs> but there ain't nothing on the police down in Cumberbatch County, where I'm from. They're the worst down there. Big Earl and Little Earl. <laughs> I forgot about them. Oh, I wish I could have the luxury. They, uh, uh, one of them is, is chief of police, is that right? That's right. Which and the other one's just a regular old cop. <laughs> Which one, Big Earl or Little Earl? I Little Earl. He's the, the, the main guy. That's in right, charge. he's the dad. He's the uh, HBIC. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Little Earl, he's the father of Big Earl. <laughs> Boy, they were surprised when he was born. Yeah. How, how did he come out of that one? Well, he, he didn't give birth to Big Earl. Right. right. <laughs> but Little Earl, he's a man of small stature. And so it was a surprise when he had such a big son. Big Earl, when he was born was 21 pounds. What? Yeah. That's like a third of what I lift. That's crazy. <laughs> Just to put it into perspective for me. Well, it's kind of what I lift in half because I do, I of course, I exercise with two frozen Thanksgiving turkeys. <laughs> Where do you, where, uh, uh, you buy them at Thanksgiving, I would imagine, because when they're at their cheapest, or is it the day well, no. after? Cumberbatch County is famous for, you know how, like, there's those Christmas stores sure. where you can buy Christmas stuff all year round? Yeah. Cumberbatch County, the only place in the United States that has a Thanksgiving store. Year and round. It, and it's open 24 hours a day. <laughs> it is inexplicably successful. No one loves Thanksgiving more than Cumberbatch County and its many visitors. I can't think of what accoutrement would be in a Thanksgiving. What did you say? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let me dumb it down for you. Like what stuff would be... Hey. <laughs> now this is typical because you hear a guy that speaks like me with the accent that I have and you assume that I'm dumb but maybe I'm losing my hearing. So, oh, you didn't hear what I said. I said accoutrement. I, I heard what you said. I didn't understand it. 
What would there be? There would be the buckle hats. Oh, you can get full pilgrim outfit. <laughs> you can get all kinds of replicas of the Mayflower. Some are hollow. You can put stuff inside them. You can get, of course, a variety of frozen turkeys. You can also get stuff <laughs> that isn't turkey but looks like it. Looks like alive turkeys or looks like the meat? No, it looks like a frozen turkey. Wow. But then you cut into it and it's like all kinds of stuff. Wow. Is it like that show, Is It Cake? Is this cake? Is it cake? I don't know. What's it called? What are you talking about? <laughs> There's a, an inexplicable show. Is I that I need cake? you to explain it. Long story short, things might be cake. Yeah, that, that didn't... I don't, I don't know what you're saying, but... Yeah. Anyway, so they sell things that are turkeys, so sometimes you might get a turkey. Oh, well, sometimes it'll be cake. And, um... <laughs> but some, sometimes you cut into it, there's a bunch of marbles in there. Sometimes you cut into it and, like, a noxious gas comes out <laughs> and knocks everybody out. I think it would be great to have a turkey pinata on Thanksgiving. You they know? got those. They do. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what it's filled with? Turkey meat. <laughs> <laughs> Just deli slices. <laughs> well, no. I mean, they carve it off the turkey. Oh, it's, okay. Like you get, you, they, they, it costs a lot, but you get what you pay for. Sure. <laughs> um, turkey butter. Don't ew, wait, wait. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> turkey butter. <laughs> Is that butter that you butter your turkey? You're about no, to cook it's butter with? that's made of turkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spreadable turkey. It's great for those, uh, those leftover sandwiches. <laughs> Sometimes you want leftover sandwich the day of Thanksgiving. Yeah. Get, get that pump primed. <laughs> All kinds of uh, cornucopias. What kinds of cornucopias are there? Uh, brown. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, tan. <laughs> dark brown. Um, you can get garlands of fall leaves because, you know, we don't have, we don't always have the same kind of trees down Florida as, uh, as you have. Yeah, um, deciduous trees. Uh, what? <laughs> Let me dumb it down for you. Uh, I don't know what that means. I knew you did it. <laughs> That's like, I think it's like pine trees and, and like that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Does anybody know? Stop yelling. Who knows? Raise your hand. Nobody know? You know? What is it? Do you not see me pointing at this gentleman right here? You think I was trying to psych you out by not looking at you? So what is it? A tree that loses its leaves. A tree that loses its leaves. So in a way, we was both right. <laughs> so and, the, and the, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what you Beg, your <laughs> Beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. You you live in Cumberbatch County, Florida. Cumberbatch County, Florida. Uh, you we glossed over the massive vigilante part of this. I feel, but I am a vet. Look, I'm in my crime fighting uniform, as you can see. Of course, I am a crime fighting vigilante. Hats, mask. Hat, mask. Coveralls, cape, apple bottom jeans, boots with a fur. <laughs> Come on now. I know people's listening to this. You're painting a, 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 a picture that's incorrect. Uh, fan boat mechanics, coveralls. Yes. Well, because my secret identity, I'm a fan boat mechanic named Ed Lee Capers. Now, I wish I hadn't said that, and I'm going to ask y'all to forget that it came out of my mouth. And your origin story. Uh, okay, so some of the famous masked vigilante origin stories. Right. Superman. I'm an orphan. The is end. that what he said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm an orphan. The story of Superman is he shows up somewhere and goes, I'm an orphan. <laughs> oh, also, look at these. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts flexing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Weird combo. Yeah. Hi, I'm an orphan. 
check this how, out. How old was he at the time? <laughs> how old was Superman when he marched up to whoever it was and said, I'm an orphan? <laughs> and started flexing. I would presume 18. Yeah. He's fake. <laughs> He's a fake guy. You're a real guy. I'm a real guy. Batman. Fake. Fake guy. But origin story. Real. Real. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Based on true events. A guy got, his parents got killed in front of him when he was a little kid and he went crazy. That has definitely happened somewhere. Yep. But your origin story is basically... I mean, I feel like we have covered this in our many, many conversations. But did you not hear there are some people who don't even know what's happening right now? <laughs> oh, people that was dragged here? Yeah. <laughs> well, look, n- nutshell my, it for them, if you could. My origin story could not be less important to what I am doing in the here and now. To sum up, the police in Cumberbatch County, where I was born and raised, they's corrupt, big girl and little girl. I took it upon myself to fight crime in Cumberbatch County by night. Yes, by day. I did mention I'm a fanbo mechanic. But at night, I, I roam the bayous and swamps of Cumberbatch County in my fanbo. A lot of crime on the bayous and the swamps, or... Not anymore. (laughs) So, I've never asked you this. Do you only do wet crimes? (laughs) The reason I ask this is I have a friend... Uh Uh-huh. ...who, he's a treasure hunter. Yeah. His name's Brock Lovett. Right. He He only searches for wet treasure... Right. He's not interested in land treasure. Are you not interested in land crimes? Oh no, I'll go I'll go fight crime anywhere, but it is easier if I'm in a boat to fight a wet crime. What are some of the wet crimes that you you've encountered? Stealing alligator eggs. These are eggs that alligators have, have laid. <laughs> yeah. What'd you think? <laughs> not ones they bought. No. <laughs> uh, not as far as I know. I, I, I ain't seen no alligator receipts lying around. <laughs> An alligator with a, a reusable bag in its hideous lair. <laughs> On the back of the receipt is the alligator pattern. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's alligator receipts. Hey. <laughs> I'm remembering what I wanted to ask you. (laughs) Is it something I've told you 45,000 times before? (laughs) Could you please cut to the origin story part of this? (laughs) Somebody stole my hammer. And I had, I realized, now that the crime has affected me, you know that, that poem where it's like, first somebody else's hammer got stole and I was like, who cares? Then somebody else lived closer to me, their hammer got stolen, and I was like, too bad for him. <laughs> then my hammer got stolen, and I bet those other two guys were like, ha ha. <laughs> and I realized I gotta do something. And yes, I'm ashamed that it took it happening to me to act, but I thought I was just a little man. I couldn't do nothing against the powerful police force of Cumberbatch County. Two guys? <laughs> one big, one small? There's not a big population. How, how big is Cumberbatch County? Oh, it's huge. <laughs> but, a, but a small population. Small population. There's 30 of us. <laughs> 30 on a big part of the state. Oh, 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 oh. 29. Oh, no, what happened? Yeah, well, Tina, who runs a Thanksgiving store. What? <sighs> she moved out of town. Oh, my God. And then died. What? <laughs> yeah. How? She went to Miami, the most sinful place on God's earth. Even more sinful than Chicago, Illinois? If you can believe it. (laughs) Everyone here seems to be wearing clothes. (laughs) 
So anyway, long story short, you're out there in Cumberbatch County, blah, 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 fighting crimes. What? <laughs> <laughs> you, you are insisting that I tell my life story that you are saying blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's rude. What's your origin story? How do you like it if I ask the questions? What's your name again? <laughs> my name's Scott Ackerman. Yeah, I know, but I'm asking anyway. <laughs> That's you. Now, JW, I haven't seen you in quite a bit, uh, especially in person. I, haven't, I don't believe I've seen you in person since before pandemic. Is that right? I think that could be true. How did you take the pandemic? I mean, you, you uh, of all people, you're used to wearing a mask. That's right, but On it is a mask half. that just covers my eyes. It does not cover my mouth or nose. Um, yeah, the pandemic, the, the quarantine, that was tough. You know, we had to stay... Uh, far away from each other in Cumbatch County. Um, luckily, we already were. That made it easier. But, you know, I, I started to go crazy in that quarantine just, just inside my, my lair, my cave. So, I, didn't know, I didn't know you had a cave. Uh, it's not really. I mean, it's kind of a cave. Is it underneath your shop? or It is underneath the shop. We what? may have talked about this before. Really? The details may have changed since last we discussed it. Oh, really? I'm interested to hear whatever you have to say about it. <laughs> <sighs> there are various buttons and levers that I have to employ in order to reveal the entrance to the mouth of my underground cave. So I do that. <laughs> then... It used to be a ladder that I'd go down there, and then I was like, why not a slide? That's a good point. Or a fireman's pole. Mm. Mm. <laughs> fireman's pole, don't, that doesn't seem fun to me. They look fun. I slid down one. Hurts. Why did you slide down one? You stole, is it stolen valor? You just pretend to be a fireman? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like that pizza delivery guy. I saw his story, and I was like, I want that. Who? <laughs> The pizza delivery guy ran into the burning building and saved all those people? What are you talking about? Back me up. Wasn't a pizza delivery guy? Yes! This gentleman is shaking his head. No. Use a liar. What part? What part did I get wrong? Pizza? Oh, you don't remember it. Oh, okay. That is Remember different. it? It just happened. Like while we've been here? <laughs> Balcony, back me up. Thank you. <laughs> I like that they'll back you up, even if you don't have an actual position on anything. Um, so, so the pandemic is rough. I'm so sorry. But now you're back out in the world. Oh, you done talking about my lair? Shh, I forgot. Are there, are there trophies in the, in the lair? Yes, I have various trophies from the different cases that I've solved. <laughs> right. You know, I got Big Earl's uh, hat in there. How did you get his hat? It blew off. He was in, <laughs> he was, he was in a convertible. Was he test driving one? Yeah. He's very showy. He gets a new car every six months. What? Yeah. That's too much. I'm telling you, he's corrupt. By the time you figure out how to drive it, it's like suddenly you're getting a new one. <laughs> figure out how to drive it? You know, cars the, these days well, the are car, complicated. As far as I know, the cars still have the same basic mechanisms. <laughs> it's not like a new car invention every six months. God, I wish they would come up with a new invention every six months. Car related, non-car related. What's the last invention you really enjoyed? Remember that when that guy who, who made the, 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 uh, the wheelchairs that go downstairs, he was like... The wheelchairs that go downstairs. <laughs> Let's parse that for a moment. <laughs> the guy who made the wheelchairs that go downstairs. <laughs> Are you talking about... That old movie about the two sisters that hate each other. <laughs> the one looks like a weird doll that came to life. 
Annabelle? <laughs> no, that's a movie about a weird doll that came to life. I keep track of all them horror movies because Ace from the Devil. Two sisters, one who came to life. No. <laughs> I, no, they're both alive. Man, what, you like, you like a goldfish. <laughs> like, that, I literally said it 10 seconds ago. I'm running through every movie ever made. Ever made. Well, don't. <laughs> what, what, you think about movies that did not involve two sisters? One looking like a doll that came to life and a wheelchair that goes down some stairs? You can cut those ones out. But I have to think of them to remember if they have those elements. You don't think you could just think of a title and instantly know that doesn't have those. Try me. Any title. Any movie title. Well, I don't know a lot of movies. <laughs> really? I, know, I, I think movies are sinful, so I don't really watch them. Because they could be, I could be tempted into a lurid life of sin and debauchery. Well, like the movie Titanic, what kind of lifestyle would you be led into? Wet treasure hunting. <laughs> Am I right, Balcony? Yeah, yeah, but what about my people here on the main floor? I feel like I got more chairs from the balcony. <laughs> Probably. Ooh. I'm jealous of that balcony. You shouldn't, have sh you shouldn't have made fun of him. <laughs> now, JW, there is a, there is a guy who invented uh, wheelchairs that go downstairs. Wheelchairs that go? What are you talking about? Not of their own accord. So it's just a wild wheelchair? You sit in it? <laughs> like riding a mechanical bull or something? But this, this dude came on to... This is the only time I've ever seen this. He came on to all the news programs before the invention came out, saying, I've invented something that's going to change the world. <laughs> it's a wheelchair that goes downstairs. No, it wasn't that. He'd already well, done that, so everyone took him seriously. Wait, I, I distinctly remember you saying, before he did that, he went on all the talk shows. This is a little like Pulp Fiction. I'm telling the story out of order. Well, don't. Be cool like Fonzie while I tell this, okay? <laughs> but he invented the wheelchair that goes downstairs and everyone was like, oh my God, you're a genius. Yeah, I understand that completely. And then he's like, get a load of this. A I wheelchair got... that goes upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> but he covered the entire morning programs. I think he was on 60 Minutes. He's like, this one's going to knock you out. Wait, so this, this fella goes to the news programs and he says, I'm not going to tell you what it is, <laughs> but it's me, the guy who made the wheelchair that goes downstairs. Yeah. I got a new invention. You must not ask me any questions about it before airtime. The invention happened to be the Segway. <laughs> <laughs> I remember hearing about this because I do remember people saying there's an invention that's going to revolutionize travel. travel. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember I never heard what it was. That was it? <laughs> that was it, yeah. Okay. No, I, I can only imagine you were thinking your fan boat business would be out of business if... Well, I thought maybe I'm going to have to learn how to repair a new thing. Obviously, it's going to have move, more moving parts than a fan boat. Right. And let me tell you something. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. If you got a fan boat and it's giving you trouble and you're bringing it in for repair, 99% of the time it's going to be that fan. Because the boat part of it... There's not much to the boat part. Yeah. <laughs> Once in a while there'll be like a little tiny quarter-sized hole at the bottom. Maybe it's, it's a couple pontoons, a chair, and a wheel. A chair. Why is that so funny? Just, a chair. Yeah, it's a chair. I like the idea. Are they comfortable chairs? They're nice. They're better than these fucking <laughs> yeah. stools. Speaking of which, let's... Yeah. Uh, let's take a little stroll. Take a little, a little stroll around the stage. You still have not explained to me the wheelchair that goes downstairs. <laughs> I'm not going to let this go. I may be getting the details... Let me ask you a question, because I've seen these. 
Yeah. Are you talking about a chair that's on a rail and it carries you up the stairs? Like a, like a, a angel's flight? <laughs> if you like. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm glad to hear you inject some religion into the proceedings. Look, my memories of this are very hazy because it was pre-Segway days. <laughs> Before everything changed. Before the earth shook. <laughs> But as I recall, it was like the wheels would go boom, 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 boom. What you are doing? You're being a clown. I'm not. They would, they would, they would like bang. Ain't these people got enough problems? Without trying to go downstairs and wow 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 I'm I'm making the noise they should make when you see the action that it's doing. What noise do they make in real life? What do these wheels look like? I think they would bend. Look, I'm getting all of this wrong. I know that there are people listening and people in the audience right now. You made it up. I did not make it up. You are a pretender and a storyteller. No, this is like Doctor Who with the Daleks. Who with the what? <laughs> never mind, never mind. Fine. But, uh, <laughs> But the, but no, the stairs or the, the wheels would like oh, now bend. Oh, the story changes. <laughs> they would bend and go like. Name that tune, anyone. Rockets. Now, I shouldn't admit to this because it, it gives away a little bit of my power. Hmm. But sometimes when I hear Rocket, I think it's Axel F. <laughs> Very similar. It starts on the same note. I think what we can agree on, JW, is that Rocket is an excellent Flintstones name for a song. <laughs> now you know the Flintstones is against the Bible. <laughs> but JW, they were there with the dinosaurs. <laughs> I know, but I don't subscribe to that theory that man and dinosaur were there at the same time. I say God put the dinosaur bones in the ground as a test. <laughs> It is the one concrete thing that he did <laughs> to give us a little puzzle to work out. The rest of it, you just got to trust it's happening. But dinosaur bones, they's a test from God. <laughs> you know the earth is only 100 years old. 100? In 1822? That's right. 1922, you fool. <laughs> you sounded ridiculous 1822 The earth is only as old as 1922 <laughs> So JW I gotta ask you, We're in Chicago right now I know <laughs> JW spits upon the very ground No offense against y'all It's just the city is a disgusting Crime riddled nightmare <laughs> But JW, the guns come in from other states. <laughs> um, what are you doing here in Chicago? You're the last person I ever expected to see here. I'm taking a cross-country trip. When you say cross-country, in the fan boat? <sighs> yes. <laughs> yep. I'm not going to acknowledge that. No. <laughs> what I do is I drive the fan boat to 
the very point of the edge of the water. Then I do have to load it into a truck. I know I've explained this to you before. I have a bunch of ropes and bungees going from the fan boat to the steering mechanism of the truck so that I can, in my heart, be able to say, I drove my fan boat across country. Wonderful. Thank, thank you. Now, you want to talk about learning a new mechanism. Man, that took me a long time to figure out. Actually, that is sort of a new invention. You could patent what? that. Would anybody else want it? <laughs> well, guy, like maybe tow truck drivers? Uh, no. Like if they want to have fun <laughs> and drive a car they never drove before? I just remember when you were a kid and, you, you know, your parents... We never met then. <laughs> Why are you lying? You lying just to lie. When I was a kid, your father's car would break down on the side of the road. You never met my father! <laughs> one's father's car. Oh, one's father. <laughs> I can't win with you, JW. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> and it would be such a thrill if the tow truck driver would let you pretend to drive the truck on the back of the tow truck. You would drive the truck on the back of the tow truck. Well, the, you drive your parents' car because the, the car's broken down on the side of the now, road. Now, you're talking about your parents, right? Forget it. Anyway, <laughs> what are you doing here in Chicago? Go. I'm in the... <laughs> I'm halfway through my trip to the other side of the country. Is this the halfway point? This, I've decided this is the halfway point. <laughs> so... <laughs> Whatever it is. I might not make it to my original <laughs> endpoint. Because frankly, I'm very tired. My arms are sore <laughs> from manipulating the ropes and bungees. So, so when you say it. <laughs> yeah. It's the old joke of my arm. Are your arms tired? Never mind. <laughs> but my arms are very tired. <laughs> they are very tired. But they look big. They look huge. Yeah, I am. I'm getting... You look like the, those murder ball people. <laughs> they ever go downstairs to play a game? <laughs> Herbie Hancock runs in and says, you owe me money. What? Rock it! <laughs> um, so you're halfway. At the halfway point of my cross-country journey. Mm. And you know, I want to take some time to see this beautiful country of ours. And you know what? It disgusts me to my core. <laughs> what are the worst places you've seen? <sighs> Everywhere from Florida to here. <laughs> I don't understand it. Flor you know, Cumberbatch County, where I come from, it's so beautiful. It's just so swampy. <laughs> it's so full of alligators and possums. You can't step anywhere without getting your feet wet. <laughs> it smells to high heaven. But I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, snakes. Um, <laughs> but I feel like that is my home, and I, I guess I never realized I'm not someone who wants to ever leave the confines of Cumberbatch County. That's beautiful, Eddie. I mean, or, uh, is it? JW. <laughs> I thought you was going to call me provincial. You surprised me. Did I really? So that's so nice that we've known each Do other. Do you know what provincial no. means? No. <laughs> I was trying to change the <laughs> subject really quick. But yeah, I just, like, I just like my little corner of the earth. I just like to be there. Yeah. I, I, I'm a little scared of the, the bigness of the country. Do you well, know what I mean? You should open yourself up, though, Eddie. Uh, JW, sorry. That's, I keep that's doing that. Number two. I know. Third time's a spanking. <laughs> I'm, I'm not playing this by your rules. <laughs> Those are Ramona Quimby rules, my dear boy. Who? <laughs> and her sister Beezus. <laughs> Never mind. Beezus? <laughs> and their dog Ribsy. <laughs> you losing your mind. Any Beverly Cleary heads out here? <laughs> 
Beverly Cleary heads. <laughs> what is that to the tune of? Bella Lugosi's dead. <laughs> That, you must hate that song with a passion. No, I like it. He played a horrible vampire. I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> Vampires is evil, probably. If they's real. That's interesting. Can you believe in God and believe in vampires at the same time? Nope. Uh-uh. Vampires is made up. Black magic, of course, is real. <laughs> Harry Potter and all that. Harry Potter's real? No, Harry Potter's not real. The magic is real. And you shouldn't be getting kids to read books about magic, which is from the devil. Is the devil ever show up in Harry Potter? Saying thanks, everybody. Are you happy now that people are not reading Harry Potter anymore? Are they not? Well, because of the author is I, doing stuff you probably like. You know what I bet? <laughs> <laughs> Must be a real... Ooh, this is a, this is a tough one for me. Oh, I've never been so torn in my life. <laughs> On the one hand, thank God everyone has stopped reading those black magic books. And I'm sure there's no parents who are separating the art from the artist. <laughs> but on the other hand, you know, I have some strong <laughs> beliefs. We don't need to go into that. <laughs> we don't need to go into that. Look, you're either born an alligator or a possum. Don't some alligators want to be snakes? What? Why? If you was an alligator, why would you want to be a snake? Oh dear. Was that you? <laughs> yeah. Let me try it again. It was you! I'm working on throwing my voice. Just saying a dumb thing to fill up some space. <laughs> Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> J.W. Stillwater, everybody! J.W. Stillwater! <laughs> J.W. Stillwater! Hooray! Hooray for me! J.W. You should have a theme song. Batman had one. Batman. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty flimsy theme song. <laughs> People loved it. It's even by Menon is longer than that. <laughs> Bad man. <laughs> bye bye. Bad man. They repeated it a few times. We have to get to our next guest, Jay. Good. I'd like to right now. I'm glad. <laughs> He's a small business owner. Are you excited to talk to a small business owner? Of course I am. You're a small business owner, aren't you? I guess I am. Yeah. This is, uh, we stopped having. Uh, what are they called? Entrepreneurs on the show. I had too many of those. We're having small business owners now. All right, thanks. Exclusively. Thanks for the backstory. <laughs> <laughs> he is from this very city. <laughs> Local small business owner. Been on the show quite a few times. Please welcome back to the show, Gary Urbanski. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Scott, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Scott! Gary! Scott Ackerman! <laughs> this is, do you realize, this is the first time in all our years of knowing each other, the first time you've been on my home turf. <laughs> and you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it a lot. <laughs> You're, that's right. You're usually on my home turf, which oh, yeah. is uh, the, the city streets of Los Angeles. I'm out there in these streets. Yeah, yeah. We're flying around in your private jet all the time. <laughs> it's not my private jet. I lease it, it out from you two and Taylor Swift. Right. Did you say Lisa? <laughs> Lisa Mattresses? Yeah. <laughs> I got to say, Lisa Mattresses, very comfortable. That's right. More than a Casper? I'm a Casper man myself. Are you really? You know, Should uh, I not be because of the br ad break that's coming up? Well, I'm really scared of the Caspers because that's a little dead boy. Boo. Yeah. It's, it is the sixth sense of mattresses, for sure. <laughs> it is. 
gosh, this is surreal. It is. You're, you're a hometown hero. I know. You know what, those cat? Or do you say hoagie? We don't say hoagie. What's up? That's my cousin, Ron. Hey, Ron. How you doing, buddy? Ron Urbanski? Yeah, he just got out of Cook County. We don't talk about it. <laughs> no, uh, this, is, this is ironic, though, Scott. Can you believe that we're finally meeting in my hometown, and I was born right here. I was born on the, the second runway at Miggs Field. Uh, <laughs> We were, we, but we've never talked here in my hometown. And now, now, Scott, I've gone Hollywood. Gary, you've gone Hollywood? I have. Can I get an awe? <laughs> what, what are Chicago people's relationship to Hollywood? Do oh, they... it's, a, it's a bad place where we all go when we want to keep doing the thing we were trying to do here. <laughs> but for money this time money here. We just want to pay higher rent there. <laughs> but yeah, I've gone full Hollywood. Can't you see my Dwayne Wayne shades <laughs> and my course. Chrysler Sebring that I lease? <laughs> yeah, you drove it practically on stage. Yeah, it's like we're at a production of Grease. <laughs> <laughs> Driving a car on stage. Oklahoma, they got a horse. Grease got a car. We won. <laughs> Who's we? Were you involved in one of these productions? Oh, yeah, most of them. <laughs> yeah, most of them. I created the character of Rizzo, but it's not what I'm here to talk about. <laughs> it's not what I'm here to talk about. How are you finding my fair city? Uh, I like Chicago. I really like it here. You do? Are you lying? Yeah. <laughs> Scott and I, we know each other a lot of years, so I know when he's lying for sure. Yeah. For oh, sure. I do too. It's all the time. Yeah. <laughs> We but, never met. No, we haven't. Hello. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm J.W. Stillwater, vigilante crime fighter. I'm a big fan. My name's Gary Urbanski. I used to own a black beauty supply, but that didn't work out so well. And then I started owning, like, a winery, and then I did a couple other failed ventures. <laughs> I, I just do the two things. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. What was the name of your business? Uh, Urbanski's the... Wig and Weave. <laughs> yeah. It was on Blue Island. And why, why, it was confusing for some reason? Yeah, do we want to rehash all this? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, I forgot how much time we had, you're right. <laughs> no, I just, I forget. <laughs> oh, sure, you're right, and there's some new people I heard sure, you yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Some people who got dragged there by their significant others. Your marriage is going to be a long, happy, but confusing one, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, so I used to own a black beauty supply, but as you can tell, I'm a proud Caucasian individual. My family's check, not Polish. And, uh, you know, I, I know a lot about different types of black hair care because I grew up on the South Side, but, uh, you know, they come in, the customers will come into the store and they look at me and they'd be like, this guy doesn't know anything about Senegalese twists or knotless braids or, you know, crochet, etc. You probably do. Uh, not as much as you think. Okay. All right. So that went belly up, you know. That went belly And up. the second place, though... I tried to do a winery, because, you know, I haven't seen a lot of movies in my life. The last movie I saw was 2004 Sideways, starring Paul Giamatti. And uh, it's a great film. No Merlot. It's a great film. And, uh, yeah, so I tried to start a winery on my own, but uh, I honestly can't remember what the problem was with that. I just know it went bad. Yeah. Had a confusing name or something. I can't remember. Something, probably. Yeah. Nothing's anyway, gone well. No. But you've gone Hollywood, you say. Oh, yeah, baby. What does that mean, baby? Oh, I, you say baby. I, hey, you say baby, too. I say baby, too. Do you say baby? I don't say baby. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, this guy's too good to say baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. No worries. No, hey. All right. I don't want there to be any confusion in case I ever have to talk to a baby. That's a good point, because they don't know a lot of words yet, and you don't want to scramble them up too much, you know? Do, do babies commit crimes? Not yet. <laughs> Sometimes they steal your heart. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Would that, you arrest a baby for that? I'm not With a With a hug. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to arrest a baby for anything. I'm going to let them be. Just because they have fingerprints doesn't mean you can book them. Oh, we, we read about that driving... Uh, Driving the other day. Who did? Uh, uh, my, my friends and I. We, uh, we... You, you got other friends than this? <laughs> than you two? Yeah. You know, a baby has fingerprints at seven minutes. <laughs> seven minutes? Yeah. <laughs> seven minutes Think after... Think about it. Think about your choice. 
A baby has eyelashes in the first half hour. And so could you. I know a girl who does great extensions, you know? She's great oh, did you, at it. Did you have a plug? Full mink. Yeah, you want me to do a plug? Yeah, do a plug. Oh, that's for my sister Tina Urbanski's lashes. Lash time lashes. <laughs> Last time, last time wasn't so great, but this time we're gonna nail it. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you glad I'm here? Cause it feels great. I love it. Oh, that's great, Gary. Man. I haven't seen you in so long. I know I've missed you. I've missed you so much. Yeah. You're one of my best friends. Oh, that's too deep. Oh, <laughs> sorry. We've gotten too close too quick. But I, I guess what I'm confused about is you came out. And you said I've gone Hollywood, ah, and yeah. I've gotten no more information about you're it. You're right. You're that. right. I guess I've been being cagey, right? Yeah. Right. I've been being a little mysterious, you know. Yeah. I've been being like. I don't know, like streets and sanitation, are they gonna tow my car or are they definitely gonna tow my car? <laughs> I've been being like lower, lower whacker, you know? It's like, oh, I gotta go down to the bowels of hell to go get my car. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I went Hollywood, you know. So basically what I am now, you are looking at the new self, completely self-employed, uh, completely self-employed, I run my own business. I am a new uh, authenticity location scout and consultant for Hollywood films, television, and uh, visual book series. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. It's not worth clapping, but it, it does deserve your wow, absolutely. Yeah. Between a wow and a clap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the scale. Yeah. So what, what does that mean? You're there to, to see if, because there are a lot of uh, television shows out there. Chicago oh, yeah. Fire. There's a Chicago Not on Fire. Uh-huh. <laughs> Chicago Baristas. That's the next one coming up. Really? Yeah, Dick Wolf is going to be like, it takes place in a caribou coffee. Are those still here? Who knows? <laughs> You've I, gone Hollywood. You I don't left know. a little while ago. I know all the Dominics turned to Mariano's. That part I remember. Um, look. Trying to get comfortable? Yeah, trying to get comfortable on this great chair. It's good. Are we all going to try something else? Is that your choice? You know what? This is actually more comfortable. Really? <laughs> yeah, I kind of just want to kneel behind it and use it like a little steering wheel. Oh, man. Let me tell you something. Your arms are going to get so big. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. No, yeah, so I'm on a location authenticity scout. You know what? What if we just lay down? You want to lay down? All right. Please. Ugh. So you're, you're doing location stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing location scouting. You know what's interesting is sometimes you, you make a vocal choice and you never think, what if my body's in this position doing it? <laughs> and then you really learn a lot, you know? Hey, is that a QR code? <laughs> Guys, are those stars or are those lights? Did you say SARS? <laughs> I guess we can't hear the monitors for this position. No. <laughs> this is bad. Do we get up? Yeah, I guess we okay. get up. Oh, Jesus Do fucking you need help? Christ. <laughs> no, okay, fine. Fuck me then. All right. Do you need help? Nah, I'm good. Thank oh, you. Oh, fine. Everybody's spry. Everybody's 29 goddamn years old. Fine, whatever. <laughs> Gary, how old a man are you? Oh, I'm somewhere between 40 and 68. <laughs> like I said, I was born on the tarmac at Migsfield, so I didn't really keep records, you know. My really? mom was a plane lander. She had good a time A plane off. lander? Yeah. <laughs> she, she, would, she would go take a jet up to the planes. Has she heard about this wheelchair that goes downstairs? You know, I overheard you guys talking about that backstage. I think what he was describing was just several slinkies. <laughs> Oh, right. That's what it sounded like. Yeah. No, but, uh, no, my mom, she could have had me in a hospital, but, you know, she had time off. She had a good union, you know, but, um, yeah, union strong, et cetera. Plane landers, gray union. So what, how do you land a plane? You, you take a jet up to the plane. I think she just had to wave oh, she, some sticks. Oh, she tells them where to land. Yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. wait a minute. Huh? Now, this guy thought 
that your mama flew up to the plane in a different plane, then somehow got on there and then just did the landing part. Well, like she walked across the wing like Tom, Tom Cruise or something. <laughs> some, some pilots might be really good at taking off, but they can't actually take them down. And so what, they just jump? Or what? Yeah, they're forced to, to jump out of the plane. Oh, I thought they'd just, like, scooch over. <laughs> no room. There's only two pilot seats up there. You been in there? How, the, how bad does the co-pilot feel? Like, let me try. <laughs> I'm sitting right here. It's rude for sure, yeah. It's rude. What was they talking about, my mom, yeah? Well, you've gone Hollywood, you say? I've gone Hollywood. Let's get back to that. You're yeah. right. You're right. <sighs> yeah, what's up? That's my cousin Ron over there. Uh, I got a cousin and a brother. It gets confusing at Christmas time. So I've got Hollywood because... Uh, because you have a cousin and a brother? I mean, I guess so. I feel like everybody in Hollywood has the same name. I've had a meeting with like five different Josh Millers in the last meeting. <laughs> I, knew, I, knew, I know a guy who's... I, kn- I know a guy who's, whose name is Carl, and his brother is also named Carl. Oh, I know that guy, yeah. Oh, you know that guy? Uh-huh, he's real nice. Carl. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Anything else? Nope. Okay. <laughs> so I've got Hollywood. Because, uh, so you know all these shows and TV shows and movies are filming here, right? Yep. So they need somebody local on the ground who can tell them how to make their show look the most local. You know, like so, Chicago. You, yeah. Do you primarily do Chicago shows? Oh, I only do Chicago. Okay. You know why? Because so people in Chicago are like notoriously famously chill, and <laughs> what we're especially chill about is like when a, when a big Hollywood production comes to town, and then they're like, "Hey, we want to make this look like Chicago," and most people in the town are like, "Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the details. We don't mind. Get close. We're okay, right?" So, I saw that as an opportunity. I said, this is a low-pressure environment, right? I know the city. I can help you guys make your show look like it's kind of in Chicago. Like, say your protagonist, let's say he works at like 106th and Western, you know, in the little beautiful Beverly neighborhood. And so, did not expect woos for that. Did not expect <laughs> woos for that. But shout out to the Leonas down there. Uh, so... Let's say he works at 106 and Western, right? So he's got to hop on his local Brown Line stop, the Sedgwick stop, clearly. <laughs> so he walks 10 minutes, gets on the Sedgwick Brown Line, takes it around the loop, ends up about five minutes later at Midway Airport, caps off the day at his favorite local bar in Algonquin. <laughs> you put all that in your movie or show and people are going to go, bam, Chicago, no question. <laughs> Do they, do they take your advice? Yeah, I, did, I just gave them that whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's so, great. So uh, which shows have you worked for? Oh, man, I've worked for all of them. I've worked for um, Chicago Brass. I've worked for um, <laughs> Nightstick. I've worked Nightstick. For, um, Ooh, that's, that's one that uh, can go sideways very easily. <laughs> I've worked for uh, Frozen Lake and the, and the Travelers of Bisque. Um, <laughs> Is that like a fantasy show? It's about soup. It's a place that uh, mostly serves soup, but it's also, yeah, it's a fantasy situation. Wait, it's a fantasy show about... Different soups. Yeah. Yeah. They film it all inside a Mr. Euro Mrs. Pizza. <laughs> Is it still around? What do they do, about two seasons of six episodes? Yeah, they did. Yeah, it was a limited prestige series on a popular streamer, for sure. What kind of stuff do you like to watch? Uh, I like this show. I, it might be set in Chicago. It's called Yelling the Restaurant. Uh, yeah, I worked on that. I worked on that for a while. And uh, yeah, they didn't take a lot of my advice. They wanted real gritty and real. And I said, doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Have your, have your protagonist sleep in the Rainforest Cafe. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit. Have him wake up in the middle of Lake Michigan and, you know, by the end of the day, he's having a meal at the Willis Tower. Yeah, I embrace change, all right? We all get to embrace change. Boo me if you want. Boo me if you want. I made a fucking Teflon. Your booze bounce off me and stick to you. Is that what Teflon does? I don't know. I'm not in food service. This chair got comfortable. It did. Yeah, I think I your, your butt just has to, like, form the shape of, of a flat 
thing. Yeah, like a, like a memory foam mattress. Yeah. <laughs> I feel great. You have a butt like a memory foam mattress. I've always hey, meant, yeah. whoa, whoa, I've always whoa, meant whoa. to Scott. tell you that. Scott, I mean, I feel great about our relationship, but we don't need to dig okay. too much further. I'm know? sorry, don't, don't call 1-900-MIX-A-LOT, please. <laughs> 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 um, I heard that number has been discontinued. <laughs> you heard that too. No longer, no longer in service. service. Yeah, 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 it's been restricted. Yeah. Yeah, too many people kicking them nasty thoughts, you know? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. Well, that's incredible. You making a lot of money? No, but I mm. do. I got a good, I got a studio apartment on one of the boats from the architecture cruise. So, <laughs> I'm just like down in the bowels of that most, most nights. I'm just realizing now, you didn't move to Hollywood. You live here still. <laughs> yeah, I just, I went home. Right, 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 right. You know. I'm caught up now. State of mind. There were a lot of references. I didn't know what they were. I know. I worried that I was going to come out here and it was just going to be like a deluge of like, you know like when someone under 24 starts talking about stuff? <laughs> and Tell you me just about go, it. Okay, and you try and pepper things in. You're like, Sean Mendes? I don't know. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I, I used, I yeah, I used to be you. like that five years ago, but yeah, 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 because you're somewhere, you're somewhere between 24 and 68. <laughs> hey. Well, in Hollywood, you can't tell. 68 is the new 40. I'm a Hollywood 68, which is 29. Exactly. <laughs> Uncastable now. <laughs> that's true. They will not call you back, will they? They will not call you back. Ooh, well, that's boy. wonderful, uh, Gary. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's wonderful you've gone Hollywood. <laughs> You know, I'm torn. I got mixed emotions about it. Yeah, I mean, how yeah. does your family? I mean, they're here to support you, but they're they're pretty sad ever since their nightclub, the Excalibur, closed down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. I get back in my hometown where I live every day on the architecture boat, and I just <laughs> I remember things I didn't plan to remember, and they come. <laughs> I'm like a vessel. They come flowing out of me. You know. Yeah. You ever been the shenanigans on Division Street? <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't been to one on any street. Oh, man. You could shoot free throws there and probably get monkeypox. It's pretty cool. All right, Gary Urbanski, everyone. Hey, thanks, everybody. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks, Ron. Yeah. All right. Uh, you want me to leave or what? Hey, Gary, would you stick around? Oh, thank you. I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, we have a guest who's never been on the show before. Oh, boy. Exciting, isn't it? I think so. Are you interested in the supernatural? Oh, absolutely. I love... What does that mean? You know, like Jensen Ackles and... Who? The guy from The Boys? <laughs> yeah, wasn't he on Supernatural before that? I don't know. I didn't watch that. I don't know either. What are we talking about? I don't know. <laughs> Devil worship. That's right, you, JW, just put aside whatever preconceptions you have about this, okay? Our next guest. Don't know guest. why I would, but go ahead. Okay, because I, I'm interested to see how she's going to be received by you, okay? <laughs> but we have a medium here for the first time. We've n I don't think we've ever had a medium on the show before. That can't be true. I think it is true. Really? Really, yeah. So this is very exciting. Please welcome for the first time, Mimsy Campbell, everyone. <sighs> Mimsy Campbell! Oh my god, hi! Hello! Oh my god, thank you. 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 Thank you. Oh my god, thank Mimsy you. Campbell, so nice to meet you. Oh my god, it's a pleasure. Oh my god, thank you. This it, is uncomfortable, isn't it? <laughs> Second one. I, I am too short for this. Okay, hi. I, and I'm tall, and I can't figure it out either. Oh, my God. Yeah, how's it going? It's so nice to meet you. Mimsy Campbell. Yeah, that's me. I'm Mimsy Campbell. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and I am a medium. What it, now, what does that mean? Because I, I, before the show, I said, oh, so you're a psychic, and you corrected me. And, and you I said, said, no, 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 no. A medium. No. I'm is, a medium. What is the difference? A psychic can tell the future, and a medium can just see ghosts and shit. Oh. <laughs> JW, no! Oh, JW! Come back, JW! JW, come back, man. Come I think back. we've lost him. All right. Oh, God. I don't know. That was, I was overcome. <laughs> I am so sorry. I know it can, it can be a little overwhelming to a couple people, but I, 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 don't, I don't find it uh, 
uh, scary anymore. I used to, obviously. So, what was the first time you saw one of these creatures, one of these ghosts? Oh, we He's, don't call them creatures. They hate that. They, oh, they do. <laughs> they hate. They hate that. What is it? So that's uh, you, you got to police your language you, even around ghosts these days. Absolutely do. You do. You do. They hate creature. They don't like that. They don't like specter. They hate that. They like ghost. So just the classic ghosts. They like the classics. They never die for a reason, except they did. They died. They're yeah. dead. They're dead. They're Is dead. Is everyone who's ever died a ghost? No. Only, only the fun ones. <laughs> Wait, so if you're too fun here? Then you die and you become a ghost and you're just like, what a ball. I guess I don't want to go straight to hell. I guess I'd prefer to be a ghost. No, for a they're while. having a, they're all having a great time. I'm seeing a lot here. Yeah, they love this. JW, show. you want? To... I was going to say, <laughs> if you don't want to go straight to hell, I got some bad news for you, Scott Ackerman. <laughs> it is true. I'm not religious, but it is law that everyone who hosts a podcast goes to hell. Okay. I hope you're right, Gary. Yeah. I hope you're right. I hope so too. I think it'll be more fun. I should have known once Joe Rogan got one. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so what was the first time you ever saw one? How old were you? I, couldn't, I could not have been more than just a baby. And as a baby, I didn't know how old I was because I was such a, ba I was a baby. So, you were, so were you looking at yourself saying like, oh, I don't even know how old I am because I'm a baby. Yeah, I was, I was, in, I was like in my crib. I know that. And I was looking up. And I know that because that's where the ghosts are. Yeah. And Do, yeah, you don't want to be looking down. No, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Not as a baby. Nope. No. And that's just a fun parenting tip for everyone here. Yeah. Don't put your baby's face down. <laughs> what about tummy time? Well, that's tummies down. But you know what? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not the baby's time. Oh, so that's tummies down. So does that mean they have like a little cutout like when you get a massage for their face? I can only assume I'm childless. Okay. I, by choice? Oh, yes. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. I consider the ghosts my children. Well, I, you know, they have fingerprints at seven minutes, so I can only imagine they're... There are a lot of ghosts out there. Absolutely. They're covered in fingerprints in the afterlife. Yeah. It's just head to toe fingerprints once you die. So you every know ghost just a has baby, a fetus has moles within <laughs> 24 hours. <laughs> Who the fuck gives a shit about moles? <laughs> so you. Oh, yes. I'm Mimsy. so sorry. Yes. Mimsy, you're, you're a baby. I was a baby, yes, you, let's you, go back. You don't even have a conception of life or death at that age, no, I would imagine, other than... I didn't. Were, were you like, oh, if I were to stop existing, I would die? Did you even know what that... <laughs> no. No, not as a baby. No. Not as a baby. Not as, the ba not as a baby, but that, I will say the first time I was like, oh my God, what is that? Um, it was as a baby. I looked up in my crib and I said, oh, what, what is that? It's a, it's, it's a specter. And it corrected me. It said ghost. And so you knew the word specter already? Up here, yeah. Up there you did. Yeah. Oh, because, yeah. oh my goodness, I didn't. I was born with mystic blood. Boop. Ow. <laughs> What is, what is mystic blood? What is it? I don't know exactly what that means. You've never heard of that? I've never heard of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> strange. Um, okay. I'll explain it. Um, it was... It, so, my entire family... Thank you. That's nice. <laughs> I'm, yes, I like this. So my entire family has it, um, and it is passed down from generation to generation. Not, but not everyone gets the, you know, gets the gift. So it has been inside of many of my family members, and now it's inside me. Ah! So it's passed down from generation to generation. But not everybody has active mystic blood. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, that there's some like, you know, blood diseases that don't activate in everyone. <laughs> what? I don't think we need to get into blood diseases. Well, no, not today. <laughs> not today. But next time you come back, I do you promise? To. I would love to. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, it was activated in you, though. It was activated as soon as I saw that first ghost above me, and it was like, hi. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm a baby. I don't know what that means. But I knew it was there, and that was the first time I you saw You didn't know it. what hi means? Or... I didn't. <laughs> I was a baby. 
Babies was, don't know words. Do you think that was your first word? Do you, see, do you think he said hi is your first word? or? I think my first word was probably like, um, a ghost. So you know ghost I did know I, ghost, because wow. that's in my mystic blood. That's just like in, ingrained inside of me. Get it, what, get it. What was the first ghost? Do you remember what it looked like? Yes. So yes. Thank you. Oh, I lost a shoe. <laughs> we could trade if you want. I would love Should we all trade? We just? Thank you. Would somebody well, like... want a mind skit? Everyone throw one shoe in the pile, and whoever's shoe you pick, you go home with. That's yeah. fun. I love that traditions. Fun yours, so I don't mash That's it nice. Down. Sure. These are really warm. That's nice. I, I got a condition like your mystic blood. Mine's called hat foot. It's a hot foot. I was born with two hot feet. Oh, I thought you were saying hat foot. Yeah, hat so foot. I. You know, my foot isn't gold, it's hat. <laughs> Well, <laughs> so was your baby uh, 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 like a, a colonial? Was the ghost a colonial? Uh, was your baby? No, you yeah, the ghost. Yeah, sorry. No, no. You're a baby. I, no, let I, me get this I'm, straight. You have a baby. You're, Congratulations. I do not. <laughs> Again, I am childless by choice. Because your ghost, parents? No, because. Oh. <laughs> Because your first baby was a ghost. My first baby. Why do I sound like you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, when, when someone comes in with a strong, it's strong accent, it just kind of takes over sometimes. I think it's the shoe. I think it's changing my voice. Well, I oh, think no, it's my shoe, shoe too. It's transforming us. <laughs> is can this what my do, voice sounds like? Can you do my voice? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. Hey there, Chicago! This is scary. I'm casting the shoe off. Off Satan shoe! All right, I feel yeah. normal now. I'm keeping these. I'm, okay. I'm keeping I feel great well. about this. That's the comedy bang bang promise. You come on the show, you're able to leave with one shoe. At oh, least. I love that. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's taken. I'm, I'm, I'm running around. <laughs> God. It did sound like a water balloon. What a fun time to be hearing sudden loud noises. <laughs> a large crowd of people. It might be a ghost. It could be a ghost trying God, to say hello. God, I hope hello. so. <laughs> so, yeah, do you remember any of the details about this ghost? I do, I do, I do. It was from a very uh, specific time period, mm -hmm. um, the, the uh, Regency era. <laughs> the re I, maybe I'm not as familiar with the Regency era. Yeah, it's like Bridgerton. Oh. It oh was I, was, a, I was thinking of a Hyatt. <laughs> like the ghosts that always stay in the Hyatts, right? Oh, yeah. Those are usually sadder ghosts that, you know. That's true. Yeah. 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 Mimsy, I worry that we've spent so much time talking about your first ghost, we haven't talked about all the ghosts in between. Thank you so much. Uh, there have been so many ghosts. In fact, I see so many of them here tonight, and hello. They're, They're all in the balcony. <laughs> oh, JW. How's that feel, JW, to have ghosts as fans? Oh, how the worm has turned. I actually once dated a ghost. Really? Yeah, in college. It was a phase. I didn't... I, were, it, were they able to, to, to uh, have penetrative... <laughs> Pe penetri penetrative... Penetrative sex with you. Well, go... You know what? Probably the most penetrative sex... Um, <laughs> Mostly because, uh, you know, ghosts can go right through you. Right. So, you know, this one just, like, stayed inside. <laughs> wow. So you were dating him or her, and... Yes. I was, I was, it was a, a male ghost, mm. and uh, he was a fighter pilot. <laughs> wow. Yes. Like a, a Top Gun? From a Top Gun, yeah. He <laughs> wow. was actually from a, a failed stunt in Top Gun. Oh. Yeah. That hasn't been publicized. No. <laughs> they kept that pretty quiet. Yeah, it's Tom Cruise. It's Scientology. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it was, that was like one of my fun ghost experiences. But right now, I feel like uh, 
I'm seeing so many ghosts and they know I can see them, so they're all like, hi, and I'm all like, oh, I'm kind of just like over it. No, this is your gift. I know, it's a gift and a curse. Yeah, because I kind of just like want to concentrate on like new horizons. I started an Etsy shop. I oh. know. You start, oh, okay. Good. Do you want to pivot to talking about the Etsy shop? Is I, that... I feel like, you know, I'm one person and part of me is Etsy and part of me is the ability to see paranormal activity all around. I have to say, that, I mean, this is the show where, uh, it used to be the show where we talk to interesting people. The ghost stuff is like really, really interesting. But you don't know what my Etsy shop is. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask two questions about the ghost you dated? Yeah, hold on, I'm going to pivot over to you. Okay, sure, I will too. <laughs> it's, it's complicated. Okay, so first of all, that ghost you dated yeah. when you broke up, were you like, I can just see right through you? <laughs> Gary to see who thinks they can do better. That's all. I'm just curious who thinks who they can do Who amongst us takes. thinks they can do better? I thought not. Fine, and then my other question was, if not that, then when you broke up, were you like, it's not me, it's Boo? No. <laughs> you thought you hated the first one. I showed you which one you hated. Oh, I'm so sorry. Like, that no just came out of me like a visceral reaction. It's all right. I accept it. No, I liked it so much. I just said you're dead to me, and I moved on. <laughs> you, uh, you ghosted him. <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mimsy, this is fun. Tell me about this Etsy shop. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, God. You, go, you can go and visit it. It's called... It, it's, that's, that's good. That's the first step <laughs> yes. of running an Etsy shop. Uh, you should go and see Make it. Make it visitable. I have never uh, sold anything. Oh. So I'm really excited. This might be my big break. Oh, yeah. Please get it out here because uh, this is what the show's all about. I, Maybe I, some uh, <gasps> wonderful Chicagoans. Chicagoans? Ch Chicago again. Chicago Gins? Yep. We'll uh, visit your Etsy shop and buy some of your wares. What do you actually sell there? I sell uh, tiny hats for birds. <laughs> but, okay, I got a question now. Yeah, I got a question too. Are they... <laughs> this is the same question. I think it is. Are they tiny in relation <laughs> yes. to the bird? <laughs> yeah, is it like a men on film situation? <laughs> you know, yeah. Z formation. Well, <laughs> yeah, um, it depends on the bird. Uh, it depends. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a true artist, so it, I really sculpt it to the bird's skull and uh, look. I'm a, ha I'm a ha bird dasher. A, a bird dasher. Habber, I'm a habber dasher. Habber, habber, habber dasher. I'm a habber dasher. <laughs> yep. That's did, me. Did you come up with the name first? <laughs> or? Shockingly, no. <laughs> it just, that came from uh, a lot of, of fun conversations with the paranormal. Oh, really? Yeah. You were spitballing with I all the like, ghosts. I was like, I love selling tiny hats for birds. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> uh, I'm, a habberd, I'm a haberdasher. Wait, I'm a haberdasher. And it all came together from there. That's good. I had to learn how to make the hats after that. <laughs> They're not great. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I mean, my question is, why not make them great? Now, here's something I didn't know. Um, well, when you're putting a, a little hat on a bird, they don't like it. <laughs> so you only usually get one shot. <laughs> so I've had to use um, permanent glue. Oh no! Don't be sad. They look amazing. <laughs> So you're permanently gluing... Tiny hat sunbirds. <laughs> to, I have to ask, Mimsy, to what end? I was hoping if I got enough of them out there <laughs> that people would start taking notice. I mean, they advertise themselves. Exactly. <laughs> you know, they're all flying they're all around. I'm, I'm not, I haven't perfected the model yet, and that's why I keep my day job as a medium. 
Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a hand in hand thing. Right now, Etsy is, is my number two girl, and uh, uh, seeing ghosts everywhere is my number yeah. one. It's it is strange because I would think that a medium job would be like a night job. It seems like it works better when it's dark outside. That is a common misconception. Yeah, I'm a dumb idiot. No, so. no. <laughs> No, so many think that the nighttime is the right time to see the ghosts. But no. No, they're scared of the dark. Can, can I ask you? Oh. <laughs> they're scared of the dark? Yes. Wow. Well, that yes. is, dude, we're breaking that is huge dumb. news. That one, I mean, I'm flabbergasted by that. I mean, can I ask you a question? Oh, I was actually going to ask if you would. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you're saying like, I, maybe I missed it, no. but you talk a lot about seeing ghosts. See do you do anything for other people with this or <laughs> you just see them at the end? <laughs> No, I, thank you so much for asking. Um, I see them all the time, but no, I, I, okay. I get, but right. I get, you know, we, we haven't moved past that but piece of information. But I do get paid if somebody wants to know about them. So would you like okay. to know about the ghosts that are oh, standing Oh, no. no. You, what are you, are you, were you going to say there's a ghost right behind me? There's many. Can I ask Mimsy? Yes. Is there like a, a, a floating hammer around him? <laughs> That maybe someone threw in the trash? Like, do possessions become someone ghosts? Someone threw in the trash? A sacred part of my origin story? I can see something hammery. Really? Yeah, I do. It's, it's, floating, it's floating just over here. Does it have an inscription on the handle? Yes. I can read it now. What does it say? You're not ready for it. I can't, I can't, I don't know if you're ready for me to tell you. I think I'm ready. Okay. All right. It's, this is the most challenged my religion has ever been. It, it, I'm reading it now. It says, your story's not over. There's still someone you must beat to become the ultimate vigilante. Big hammer. Big hammer. It's, oh, my God. Goes around. That's what I carved into the hammer of my, into the handle of my hammer. I was just doing it for fun. It, what was it you carved? Your story is not over. There is one more vigilante you have yet to beat. Yep. That's, I mean, he proved it. That's it. So there you go. Proof. Amazing. Yes. Yes. So I, I mean, I see them all around everyone in the audience. I see them around you on stage. I'm willing. You can Venmo me if you want to know more. How, how much do you charge for your services? You, we're getting them free right you now. You are. I, you're getting them for really free. But if you want to Venmo me, uh, it depends. Like it, if you give me $20, I'll be like, she's in blue and it's your grandma and she's disappointed again. <laughs> That specifically for $20? <laughs> yeah, something, I'll tell you what color she's wearing, who it is, and if, if, she, if, or if not, she's disappointed. Right. That's $20. What for, can somebody get for like five bucks? Five bucks, I'll be like, she's right there, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would someone get for like $1,000? Oh, I would, I would not only uh, tell you everything uh, that she was wearing from head to toe. Oh. Yeah. I'm so interested in the toe part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Head to t the toes are usually bare. That's fun. Yeah, ghosts like to go barefoot. Real, mm. do, do ghosts, do they wear what they were wearing when they die? Like they're in the same clothes, you know? Or do they, are they able to swap clothes ever? They can or? swap with each other, ghost yeah. Ghost swap? Yes, a ghost swap. <laughs> so that's fun, uh, and it does confuse you. You're like, you're from the Victorian age, and she's like, no, bitch, just swapped. <laughs> It's a swip swap with my grandmother. Yeah. So, yeah, it's fun. Um, but for $1,000, head to toe description, and I'll just, like, let her talk through me. She'll, oh, amazing. She'll enter me and talk. I kind of want <laughs> to pay you to do this right now. Go ahead, money bags. Yes. Why don't you give her a couple iPads? Hollywood elite, <laughs> scat. Give her your helicopter. Let me see. Can I afford $1,000? Yeah. <laughs> pocket of I'll those jeans you got from Target? <laughs> How do you know that? Okay, you can... Are you going to give me a credit card? <laughs> Just run that, swipe that through if you don't mind. Okay, and, I'll uh, memorize this. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. He's good for it. All right. Who would you like to speak to? Oh, I have to pick? You can. There's many behind you. Oh. Well, I don't know who they are. Why would you not want to pick? <laughs> yeah, just guess somebody dead. Anyone dead? Who would be bothering with you? Yes, they must. They have to be bothering with you. So they have to be dead. They have to be dead. They have to be here. Yes, all of them are here. All, every ghost is here? <laughs> all of the ones that care about you, Scott. <laughs> so they fo- ghosts follow you around? Yes. I see, I see, I see. Could you, mm-hmm. could you talk to my grandmother? Yes. Do you want her to talk through me? Yes, well, I paid you for that. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> You're not backing out of the deal, are you? No, 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 you, no, no. You memorized my credit card numbers. I did. I'm very worried about that now. I did. I, I memorized very quickly. Okay. All right. She's, she's here. She's here, and she's... <sighs> Scott... Scott, is that you? Mima? That's me. I'm Mima. Do you like my, my new outfit? I stole it from this medium girl. Oh, oh, so, oh, oh, I thought part of it was you were going to describe what they were wearing. Oh, sure. Tell. Well, now I'm your Mima, so we'll have to wait on that. Okay. <laughs> Me- Mima. Yes. I, there's so oh, much I want to say to you. There's so much that you should be always saying to me because I'm always there, Scotty boy. You're watching over me, Mima? I watch you even when it gets weird. Is that too often? Oh, yeah. I, I'm, this is why I needed to come through and talk to you. <laughs> what? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, not in front of the people. <laughs> Ignore them. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, Scotty boy. I'm kind of worried about what you're going to say. No. <laughs> Should we lay down? Does that make it better if we lay yeah, down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scotty boy, no. I just I need you to you, I need you to know I see everything. Okay, that's all. I won't get into specifics even though I really could. Okay. okay. I also need you to know that there there's there's somebody who is watching you all the time and it is not a good it is not a nice uh, entity. Oh no, is it is it's not grandpa? It's, it's... It is grandpa. <laughs> but you loved grandpa. I it... did, but he did not care for you. He did not care for... He did say it in life. He said, I love you, Scotty boy. But he, in, in, he was lying? He, oh, yes. Yes. You should have heard the things he said about you behind your back. When like you, like yes. what? Like he said, look at him run. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's behind my back. I'm running. Yes. It was, I was, it was my track meet. Yes, he was like, look at him run. He's not fast enough to outrun my disappointment. Oh, no. (laughs) This is a huge fucking bummer. Yes, but you didn't pay the girl to give you good news. You just paid her to give you the real shit. The real real. The real real. But I love you. Yes, 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 Scotty boy. Where did you leave your treasure? Oh, that... uh, We've been searching for it. Yes, okay, good. I will tell you now. Uh, do you remember the cabinet? Yeah, we had a bunch. Yes. Yeah, which, which, yeah, which My one? My favorite one. Your favorite cabinet? Yes. You, I gotta say, this has never come up in any of our conversations when I was younger. So you had a favorite cabinet? I had a very favorite. Everyone has a favorite cabinet. It's the one you go to first, the one you put your coffee mugs in. The coffee mug cabinet. That's the one. My favorite cabinet. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> There's a secret panel on the back of the cabinet. Oh, no. How is it accessible? You go only through damage. <laughs> so it's not a secret panel. It's yeah, just... You just have to bust through that. <laughs> Punch through. Maybe with a hammer. Maybe. Sorry, I, I beg your pardon, JW. Thanks a lot. <laughs> you punch through You got to punch through it, and then in the back there, there's a, there's a map. Why so many steps, Mima? <laughs> I was afraid someone would find my treasure. But I'll, I'll, you know what? I'm going to skip to the end. I'll yeah, tell, please. I'll tell Smash you. cut to, please. The treasure was family. <laughs> I have to go. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, oh Lindsay, yes. you're, you're back. Right? I'm back, I'm back. Okay, was that nice? Did you have a nice, vi- do you want to know what she was wearing now? <laughs> yeah, head to toe, please. Very tip top of the head to the very soles of her feet, if you don't she mind. She had a tiny bird hat on. All right, okay. Mimsy Campbell, everyone. Mimsy Campbell. Would you like your shoes back? Oh, keep them. Oh, thank you. Keep them, keep them. We have to get to our final guest of the evening, and this is, I gotta say, this is gonna be very exciting for you guys. He's a legend, a hometown hero. You know him, he won several championships with the Chicago Bulls. Please welcome Michael Jordan! Yeah! Oh. Hey, hey, hi, hey, oh wow, only three balconies in here, I got six in my house. Interesting. How's everybody doing? Michael Jordan, it's, I, this is amazing. Now we, we put out the word that we were coming to town, mm-hmm. we said we want a big Chicago hero. Yeah. Gary Urbanski answered, we were like, okay, well, yeah. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to get better than me, so I am thrilled. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You answered the call. I did, and I'm noticing a lot of empty seats in here. And uh, (laughs) only half. I just, uh, I used to sell out the United Center all the time. Constantly. Hey, how you doing? Scott, I got to be honest with you. I'm a little upset. This is my first time ever being on the show. I, I'm sorry, I would have invited you before. I just never thought someone like you would ever do it. Yeah, well, I took that personally. <laughs> and, uh, so I just want to let everybody in here know that I started my own podcast. <laughs> it's called Comedy Bounce Bounce. No. Please listen to it, and please never listen to this one again. <laughs> Michael? Yes. You can't be that competitive. What? <laughs> just... Just this because is, I... You can't accept me for me, then we're not really friends. I thought we were friends. Michael. <laughs> I don't understand what the issue is. Scott, if you can't accept me for me... I accept you for you. I just, uh, I mean... It's... You never had me on your show. You know how eloquent my speaking voice is. <laughs> you hear me right now. Don't I sound great? <laughs> Interesting that they will clap like that. They haven't clapped like that for you tonight. <laughs> Mr. Jordan... Yes. If, if nobody ever listened, what about all the young people that listen to Scott's podcast? Young people? Fuck yeah. them kids. I, uh, <laughs> they got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Boy, JW, you really set that up beautifully. Did I? <laughs> Scott, you got two rugs here, I see. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> you laid down on these? Yeah, we, we, we were laying down here. We were just having fun. And you yeah. didn't invite me to lay down and have no fun on the... <laughs> well, I took that personally. <laughs> so after the show is over, I'm going to piss on these rugs. <laughs> and I invite everybody to come up and smell it. <laughs> and smell it? <laughs> smell the goat's piss. <laughs> if you really cared about me, Scott, you would allow me to come out here and lay on the rugs with you. But you wanted to go in order of show. We can lay down now. Do you want to lay down now? I mean, I I never knew you were laying down. I don't do sloppy seconds. (laughs) (laughs) Let me say it. Would you like to lay down, Scott? Yes. Everybody, lay down with me. (laughs) Now we're a real team. A starting five, if you will. (laughs) Scott's Tony Kukoc. J.W. is Ron Harper. Mr. Mr. Jordan, if I may, mm-hmm. I know because you, you weren't privy to this earlier, but it is exceptionally difficult to understand each other laying down in this position, <laughs> especially you with your dulcet tone. So you're saying you can't hear me? E- excuse I'll me? I take that personally. <laughs> I can hear myself just fine. <laughs> I sound great. And just because you said that, I'm going to be getting everybody in the crowd new ears. Whoa. New ears? Brand new ears. All right. Wow. Everybody up. Okay. Up, oh, J.W. 
Sorry, sorry, Mr. Jordan. I, I, sorry. I'm sorry, Michael. I didn't know you were a laying down guy. Every time I've ever seen you, it's been like the silhouette of the, you know, the thing. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again I, for me. I don't think I can. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back here. So happy to be back home. And I thank you for only putting one Chicago legend on this stage today. Are there supposed to be more? No, nah, no, nah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> wow. Me too. You're backing down that easy? Couldn't be on my team. <laughs> I've been practicing my jump shot. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't entirely sure if that's something you did alone or like with a, a buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Most like, perfectly what, acceptable. What's, what's yeah. the one where you have a little a friend help you? Are you thinking of a prayer for Owen Meany? <laughs> Is that the movie where Ben Stiller went to Iceland? Yes. <laughs> I haven't seen anything pass sideways, so I don't know. Are you a religious man? Yes, I am, sir. Do you have a church? Uh, not as such. Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> it's harder for me to hear you standing up than it is. You couldn't hear me? Well, I take that personally. <laughs> oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can be my teammate forever. <laughs> you guys on the same team. I would love to see that. It would be, are you saying that we couldn't win? <laughs> Michael, I'm not saying anything, my friend. Scott? I... Now, I did bring a billy club as well. <laughs> I plan on getting violent at some point in this show. Are you planning on starring in that show, Nightsticks? <laughs> Explain it to me. <laughs> I just, I heard about it. I don't know. I think Gary worked on it. Yeah, I did locations for it. For Nightsticks? Yeah, it all just took place outside the Morton Salt Factory. <laughs> <laughs> just on a big pile of trash. <laughs> and I wasn't involved at all? You know what? That is an oversight on our part. I'll talk to casting for sure. It's still going on. Oh, yeah, it's in season 15. <laughs> and I wasn't in the pilot? Uh, not that I recall, but I was two years old. I'm beginning to take that personally. <laughs> but I mean, I, I was small, so like, fuck the kids, right? I don't remember. Does Correct. it not work when I do your things? <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Michael, why, why are you so defensive? I mean... Me? Defensive? <laughs> Player of the year? You, you didn't like to play defense? I love to play defense, sometimes. <laughs> you, you said defensive as if you're attacking me. Are you attacking me? I came here to be nice, Scott. I came here to be friends with you. I want to play golf after this. You do? I want to go to my steakhouse, which is the best steakhouse Chicago's ever seen. It's the best, probably the best restaurant in the Midwest. Do you guys disagree with that? Great. It's Who really disagrees good. with that? I, I, I love the fountain sodas there. Wait a minute. Somebody was raising their hand. They disagree. How old are you? 14. Fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a pair of shoes out of my trunk. <laughs> Some people seem offended that I said that to that child. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I take that personally. I, Michael, I just... It's what are not you just me. Out of your pocket, Scott? <laughs> well, I have something for you to look at. It's not just me who says this about you. Oh. Your friends have said this about you, and they, they recorded a video. Hmm. What did they say? Hmm. Hmm. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Someone give me some tequila. Hmm. Well, it's nice that he would say that. I take it personally. He said happy birthday. <laughs> Are you saying that I'm old? <laughs> Michael, you have everything. You don't, I mean, you should be on top of the world. You were one of the greatest, were one of the greatest athletes of all time. You are still one of were. the... <laughs> four-letter word that I don't like too much. Word. Implying that I'm not still the greatest athlete at 61 years old. 
Do you think? Do you think you could play basketball and play it wait, better wait, than? Let me, let me, hold on. Let me get my age right. Uh, <laughs> Fifty nine. Fifty nine. Fifty nine. Are you, you saying I forgot my age? <laughs> I just, I don't think you can still be out there on the court. You don't think so, do you, Scott Aukerman? Scotty D, please. Oh, forgive me. Oh, no, you found my weakness. I forgot somebody's name. Oh, oh no. He sure Michael sure Jordan, oh, he's God. collapsing. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh. We found his Achilles heel. Oh no, I'm nice now. <laughs> Wait. Oh my God, nice Michael Jordan? Scott, thank you so much for having me on your show. <laughs> of course, we I love I wanna you. donate all my rings to charity. What? What charity would want rings? The Scotty D Foundation. <laughs> Scott's kids. You love them kids. This is amazing. This is like a Christmas carol, but for you. <laughs> I just woke up from an awful dream, and you were there, and you were there, and you were there, and you were there. Not you, JW, you. You know, there's another Scotty that you owe an apology to. <gasps> Scotty. Scotty too hotty. <laughs> Is that who you're referring to? <laughs> no, no, no. Scotty Pippen, actually. is Scotty Pippen, my brother. Oh, wow. How could I forget? Scotty, I just want to say one thing to you. Does he listen to this show? <laughs> I assume. Oh, yeah, most hey, people do, so. There's a fly in here. <laughs> Ow. Oh. 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 <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> that Wait, was, that was so, a close call. <laughs> can I just ask? I'm sorry, I'm a huge fan and I just want to get this straight. So, forgetting someone's name sends you into <laughs> this alternate uh, dimension where you're nice, but accidentally bonking yourself on the head is what propels you back. I just want to Who track the fuck are canonically you? what's going on. <laughs> I'm just tracking the canon of what's <laughs> happening here. It's Gary Urbanski. Gary Urbanski? That sounds like a Chicago-type name. Yeah, we're Czech, not Polish, you know. Grew up in Blue Island. I've been a fan of yours my whole life. Never thought I'd be talking to you or having you look mad at me. How old are you? So around 62, maybe. And I've been a fan of mine your whole life? Oh, yeah. That checks out. We were born next to each other in the hospital. Yeah. Well, because I had to come back. <laughs> yeah, had to come back. Because you haven't gotten your fingerprints yet, and you're supposed to have, yeah. you're supposed to have gotten them. Yeah, they, my parents took me home for about two, three years, and then they were like, this baby does not have fingerprints. And so they took me back to the old Rush hospital. You're and, supposed to get fingerprints within seven minutes. Yeah. I know. Those, those, those anti-abortion ads are wrong. You don't get the fingerprints that early. Sometimes you're a whole toddler, and you got to go back to the hospital and get them printed on. Anyway, so that's where we met. I got my fingerprints in six minutes. Not everything is a competition, Michael. Wow, Scott. You don't want to compete with your old pal Mike, huh? I take that personally. Well, pal, you've been nothing but a prick to me since you come out here. Whoa. You know, I don't deify you, Michael Jordan. Whoa. I don't give a shit about basketball. Whoa. Okay, okay. It's the most orange ball. Keep I'll booing. give it that. The booze do not bounce off of Scott E.D. The booze stick to him. So what? You can bounce that orange ball around a big court? I know how it's played. So no. what? Who cares? There, there, there are people like Jimmy Carter out there who are building houses for people at 98 plus 20 years old. Are you saying Jimmy Carter can build more houses than me? Are you saying his habitat for humanity is more successful than mine? I love humanity. 
but nobody's ever talked to me like that, Scotty D. I appreciate it. I love you, Scott. <gasps> wow. Sincerely, wow. me, wow. Michael Jordan. Well, cool. I mean, I just wanted to clear that up. That's great. I, I, I like, I mean, I, I like Mike. You can't say that you love me back? <laughs> I feel like that's something I should be taking personally. <laughs> Yes, Chef. <laughs> oh, you've been watching The Bear? Yes, Chef. Can't believe they didn't have me on that show. What would you do? I would say, yes, Chef. The best out of everybody. I'll make all the sandwiches as fancy as the main guy wants them to be. <laughs> Even though we're in this place that doesn't serve fancy food. And I wouldn't make the spaghetti. Have y'all not been watching this show? <laughs> Are you just as offended that I'm not in it? I mean, Michael... That would make it a real Chicago show. Michael, you're not that good of an actor. I saw Space Jam very recently. Wow. Wow. Give it to him. Yes, boo Give him. it to him. Boo his acting. Give it to that him. That is right. Do his not acting boo is bad. Acting. Yes. Clap for my acting. <laughs> Wait, everyone... No, hold on. Hold on. We're going to have a boo off. Okay. I'll win. You'll win the most amount of boos. <laughs> sure, it's still a win. Everyone who wants to boo me Hold on. for saying you're gonna that. You're going to screw this up. Okay. Yeah. You're going to We need help here. How many people want to boo Scott for his denigration of Mr. Jordan's acting abilities? Silence. Now, how many people <laughs> wish to boo Mr. Jordan's acting abilities? Specifically for Space Jam. But now, remember, he wants to win. <laughs> so give me more boos, even if I didn't earn them. Mm. Sounds like I won. But this is a classic conundrum. Mm. You have won, but the loudness of the boo suggests they are saying your acting abilities are subpar. But I won. You won the most amount of boos. Sounds like I'm in the booing hall of fame. <laughs> and I'd like to do a speech. Oh. <laughs> Did you do a speech? <laughs> okay. All right. Michael Jordan with a speech, everyone. To the man responsible for me getting these booze, Mr. Scott Alkerman, my podcast will be better than yours. To JW, oh, getting personal. I love religion as well. To Gary, hey, please put me in your show. It, it, it does not belong to me, but what's mine is yours for sure. Do it anyway. To the medium. That's me. I prefer a large. <laughs> All right, Michael, even though I made that joke earlier in the show, I... <laughs> you did? <laughs> yeah. I prefer an extra large. <laughs> to be more specific, that's exactly what I said. I wear a 2X. <laughs> Mimsy, I gotta, I gotta ask, were you, yeah. when you heard all those boos, were you thinking it was, it was the ghost? I was out of my mind with fear. Um, You're still I, afraid of the ghost? I, when they say boo, that means they're ready to attack. Oh. I thought they were gonna come down from the balcony, but they're not. Sounds like the Knicks. <laughs> what? <laughs> we don't need to repeat it. <laughs> Do you see any ghosts around Michael Jordan? I, I mean, see a lot of ghosts around you, yeah. Michael. Well, how much money do I need to pay you? <laughs> Name of your price. Oh, you have Double it. <laughs> I'll take it. Which person would you like to inhabit me? Some, so there are some recent uh, basketball players. Who oh, have... good. <laughs> <laughs> I love basketball. 
I'd like you to inhabit a person that's still alive. Okay, well, for that amount of money, sure. <laughs> Who would you like? I'd like to know what Scottie Pippen really thinks of me. I've never done this before, Michael. What but do you need from me? I have everything. No, no. He, here's, a, here's a tip, Mimsy. Don't imitate the voice. <laughs> Just I'm going to do the, the voice that I hear in my head all the time, hmm. which was the same as your grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done this, but not, some call me the Michael Jordan of mediums, so I can do it, because I can do anything. Huh? Okay, here I'll we go. I'll take that personally. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sounds like Scotty. <laughs> I think that's just the noise she always makes. He made that noise too. <laughs> Hello, Michael. It's me. Scotty. Scotty Pippin. Scotty. It's I, you. I, you. Quiz me. I know everything about my life. <laughs> okay. Scotty, you joined the team in 1987. Yes, and? <laughs> you are number 33. That's me, all right. And when I left the team to yep. go play baseball, it was yours to take over. That's right, I did, and I was like, damn it, I wish I would have played baseball. I was always trying to, to be right by your side, Michael. I knew it. I wanted to be your bestest of friends. Mm. But you, you just needed to be the bestest. Do you see? We could have been friends. I love basketball. This checks out. This is Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen. Yeah. Oh. It's, a, it's a, a spitting image. Yeah. Is it splitting image or spitting image? It's spitting, I believe. It's spitting. Yeah. This is a spitting image. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to add the L. <laughs> I'm going to add a W because I always won. Yeah. It's a splitting image. <laughs> a splitting image. A splitting image. Any other questions for Scotty before I go? Scotty. Yes. It's me, Scotty Pippen. <laughs> Basketball star players. <laughs> favorite. Sport. Scotty, what's your favorite Sunday meal? Oh gosh, thank you so much for asking. I love a big, I love a big bowl of bolognese. Mm. Mm. And a, a big, uh, a, a thick croissant. At the same time? I, I, yes. It, yes, because you can toast the croissant, make a uh, garlic butter croissant. Yeah. I know, I know Scotty, my man, Scotty. Scotty loves his croissants. Okay, okay. All right, Scotty, go back to your real alive self. Thank you, goodbye. Damn, that's Scotty. That's what you wanted? Okay, yeah, Scotty Pippen. Thank you. Wow, this, I mean... Scott, maybe take some notes from a real Scotty. <laughs> What's your favorite Sunday meal, Scott? I, uh, look, I love a Thanksgiving meal, so... <laughs> Every Sunday? <laughs> Every Sunday. <laughs> so I should move to Cumberbatch County. You should. You can have it every day of the week. And twice on Sunday. <laughs> twice. <laughs> the leftovers, you mean? Nope. Full <laughs> Thanksgiving lunch, full Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> wow. Sounds delicious, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Nothing like Michael Jordan's Steakhouse. <laughs> What do you keep laughing at when I say that, Scott? I, I'm I just taking think Michael Jordan personally. Take, not, please don't take this personally. I just don't think it has the greatest reputation. Oh, because you like Charles Barkley Steakhouse better? <laughs> wow. Does he have a steakhouse? Probably. I was kind of a, more of a fan of Detlef's bubblegum shrimps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's our show. <laughs> Tony Newsom. <laughs> Carl Tarts! Come in,